Hello friends, welcome to the lecture uh, installing uh, Apache Kafka on uh, uh, CDH cluster. So basically we built the CDH cluster and uh, in the last video we installed Apache NiFi on the CDH cluster. Now we are going to use the uh, Apache Kafka so in our project. So Apache Kafka is a, a distributed messaging system uh, where it works like a publish subscribe uh, fashion. Uh, like uh, um, <clears throat> many people can publish the messages to the Kafka topic. Topic is nothing but an atomic unit where uh, messages are uh, published. Okay, so many consumers who want to consume the messages can consume from that topic. So that's how the Apache Kafka works. So we are going to use the uh, uh, the Kafka, Kafka uh, extensively in our project. So let's install on the uh, CDH. When you install CDH by default, Kafka will not be installed. So you need to uh, so but the parcel is referenced already in the Kafka uh, in the Cloudera uh, CDH uh, parcel uh, when you uh, get the um, the uh, <coughs> repository file and install it. So we are going to uh, just take the parcel and install the Kafka. It's going to be a simple uh, steps. So let's get started. So first thing is uh, just to log on to the uh, Cloudera manager. So take your IP address uh, which is your uh, uh, VM IP address, external IP address and uh, uh, access using the uh, 7180 uh, default port number. So I just uh, uh, user ID password is admin admin. I'll just log in with that. So once you log in here, okay, so what you are going to see is basically uh, the existing uh, current uh, services uh, in your cluster. So we don't see your uh, Kafka. So so what you are going to do is just click on this uh, parcel. Okay, so when you click on parcel, okay, so you see here Kafka is uh, here. Okay, so uh, you see here Ka Ka Kafka is already pointed out here. So what you are going to do is before uh, uh, downloading this, okay, what I will do is just go to the configuration section. Okay, and then uh, here you will see uh, uh, Kafka <coughs> parcel is already provided here. Okay, so come down. Um, there only one <coughs> so one thing you need to uh, just uncheck it is validate parcel relation. Just uh, uncheck this because sometime you may get error while installing Kafka. So that's the reason you just uncheck this validate parcel relation and save this. Once you save that. Uh, uh, so anyway the Kafka parcel is already available so you just click on the uh, download button okay so I will click on here download so it is around uh, 8 uh, 830 uh, sorry 83.7 MB of data so uh, it's getting downloaded <coughs> let's get uh, download here Okay, so, pass this. okay, so I am resuming the video. So it got downloaded. So I told you, uh, like, it is uh, uh, <coughs> this. Sorry, the Kafka is uh, the parcel is downloaded. I told you when you uh, when you install uh, 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 unique software or components on uh, CDH on based on parcel, you need to do uh, four step like download, uh, distribute activate right so uh, so uh, so basically we download it now let's uh, uh, distribute this so it's going to take a couple of seconds uh, so basically once uh, once we install this uh, kafka on our cdh cluster we'll also try to uh, uh, test the kafka by uh, running the command line uh, consumer, command line producer, and command line consumer, and we will verify that as well. So let's complete. Let's complete this uh, installation process of Kafka on CDH cluster. So it is distributed. Now we need to go to activate this. So it will ask you, are you sure want to activate? Yes, we want to activate this. Now that Kafka Apache Kafka uh, Kafka uh, which is uh, part of our CDH, uh, uh, so we are actually uh, installing it. So once this is installed, so we'll start using it. So if you go to the uh, <coughs> so this this step is done here. 
it is uh, distributed and activated so if you go here um, to the main uh, page of Cloudera manager you don't see the Kafka service here so we need to add the service we install it it is available you go and say add service uh, so basically you just want to repeat this okay so come to the home page of uh, Cloudera manager uh, click on this uh, cluster followed by there is icon uh, drop down icon click here add services so <clears throat> what we are going to add is Kafka so we already installed this Kafka and continue so it is going to ask the broker uh, host which is only one host we have we'll choose this okay and the remaining thing we'll leave as it is continue okay so uh, you want a replication vector is one here or oh, fine that's what i want to see we'll make this replication vector also one because only one node is there offset uh, offset card uh, commit topic replication vector so we'll set it as one okay so our default port number is basically uh, 90 uh, 80 sorry 9092 and one more thing i want to do is uh, okay uh, let's uh, okay if it is available we'll do otherwise we'll go on to do again okay so with that we'll actually continue okay it is adding the services to the cloudera manager so once this is added we can start using the uh, uh, patch kafka which the kafka which is available part of cdh so this is uh, going to be take a couple of seconds we'll wait for some time uh, if, if not completing as soon as possible or will i'll just pass on the video if it's taking more time i'll pass on the video and resume once it is over um, okay still let us uh, get to start okay so it's done okay so just continue with that so just say finish okay so now kafka service will be available part of our uh, cloud run managers list of services now we wanted to come and do some uh, configurations if you come here uh, because we want to actually if you want uh, kafka to be say example you want other application to publish the uh, message to the kafka broker okay so <clears throat> again Kafka broker is the one which maintains your uh, uh, message, which actually uh, holds your message and uh, with uh, uh, interaction with uh, Zookeeper. Uh, Zookeeper and Kafka uh, uh, work together. Zookeeper keeps track of all the messages, uh, offsets. Offsets nothing but a message, uh, kind of uni unique identifier the message, Kafka message. So basically, two things uh, I want to. Uh, uh, do here one is so as I told you if you are uh, uh, if you are actually uh, sending a message to the Kafka broker from outside uh, uh, this cluster so you need to enable that okay so in the advertised uh, host name you provide your uh, uh, the internal IP address okay so how do you find in the internal IP address go to the your terminal if config okay step if con big hyphen a so this is the 10.128.0.5 so i'm just going to put this here and our port number is uh, 9092 okay so we'll just uh, save this okay and also if you go to the again go to uh, remove this filter uh, go to the uh, service wide configuration if you come here there will be a uh, go to the second page so there's a property you need to update so okay so maybe i'll again come back to the kafka service okay Kafka service go to the configuration and then okay let me 
go one by one uh, basically this part i want to configure this in the kafka broker advanced configuration okay advanced configuration you need to set this basically your uh, <coughs> internal ip address and also the external ip address in the in the advertised listeners and listeners uh, uh, properties we need to update here okay so let me search this it's not here go to the third page check this it's not available fourth page i'm getting this no in the fifth page i'm getting this yeah so uh, kafka broker advanced configurations snippets if value kafka broker yeah, this is right so here we'll just copy paste this i will provide this uh, uh, notepad in the resource section of this video you can uh, lecture you can take it up so basically this is i internal ip address of this uh, vm and this is external ip address of this vm so the, so that uh, other uh, application from uh, other machines can publish messages to this kafka, uh, vm uh, kafka in this vm okay so once these two properties uh, configured i uh, changed okay so you can just go and uh, uh, restart the kafka service okay so <clears throat> once you uh, you need to restart the service because you have made some configuration changes right so you need to restart the service once this service is done so you can do the uh, configuration uh, client configuration deployment so uh, so based on uh, 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 your uh, uh, vm configuration so few things we few few of the service uh, might uh, work slowly and faster so all depends upon your uh, configuration right so this is done i'll go and uh, run the deploy client configuration so that it will out of the change we made it will apply on the configuration files in the um, the cluster okay so this is uh, done now what we'll do is we'll open the command prompt command line so we'll check this so first we'll create the topic so this is the command to topic create topic to, uh, kafka iphone topics followed by create and uh, you need to provide the zookeeper uh, host name port number and partition replication factor as one and topic name as message topic so let me run this command here so uh, it says this and it says uh, ready create uh, somewhere 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 attempting to check it in how do you find out it is created okay so let me run the list so okay so it has created the topic message topic here okay so verify that just you can run this kafka topic uh, list command okay so it is showing the message topic is available here fine now this is fine now so now go to the uh, uh, weapon 2 terminal mm, i will open one more terminal i'll copy duplicate the session so in the one terminal i'll run the kafka producer okay so in the other terminal i will run the kafka uh, consumer okay so that will verify this kafka installation is uh, good okay i will say hi hello hello kafka so it's coming here um um, a spark with kafka works well spark with kafka works well i'm publishing this works well i'm publishing this message similarly coming here so so now we configured apache uh, sorry uh, kafka on uh, cdh cluster uh, we tested the sample messages also uh, by uh, uh, running a command line producer and publishing some message and uh, turning a command line consumer to consume the message so both are working fine consumer and uh, producer so let's uh, uh, 
uh, move on to the next section so uh, till now we actually uh, uh, completed installing uh, cdh cluster on top of that we installed apache nifi in this uh, section in this lecture we installed uh, apache kafka so next uh, lecture we'll uh, install uh, no sql database like uh, cassandra and mongodb i hope that you are enjoying my uh, course uh, please feel free to post your queries on the uh, q and a section of this uh, course i'm happy to help uh, uh, see you in the next video thank you so much friends